Yeah, right after saving, I pretty much fell asleep, and since then, I've woken up, taken a shower, eaten breakfast, all that good stuff. Let's see if it... If time kept going while that happened. Yep. So apparently to sleep and do all my wake-up shit takes like eight hours. I spent quite a bit of time in menus. Bigger duration of art based on their level. Hmm. Alright, I accidentally unlocked two things. Increase cost, increase stagger. I'll stick with this. The recovery. Wondering why it had little arrows under it. I guess just because it has sub-menus. Oh, the wind! It bites! How can you stand wearing that garb? It doesn't seem humanly possible! I never said I was human. Here I come! So I just got two people following me, not helping with the fight. Come on, really? now. Only. Here I come! So nice to be free again. Able to move these bones around like I want. So, Rokuro, what got you all chained up in that mold hole? Ties to home. It's complicated. Oh, then are you really sure you ought to be taking on further debts? It's a teaching of House Rangetsu. Pay what you owe. Well, what a civilized family you've got. Were you in for long? Three years, maybe. That's why I know so little about the state of the world. Oh, God. Me too! Art-wielding Malakim! I've never seen such a thing! How much else have I missed? Used to be witches who had a monopoly on charms and hexes. Can you even comprehend what this'll do to business? Should I even ask why you were imprisoned? Ha! <laughs> Begged for unlicensed witchcraft. It was a tale of betrayal most wicked and foul! <clears throat> Care to hear more? You'll cry, I'll laugh, emotions will touch the rafters! 
No, thank you. Dicks. Anytime I start to attack, I get fucking interrupted. So much trouble, so much trouble. Won't somebody please help a kitty out, meow? Oh, look, another weirdo. That thing talks? What if it's a cat demon? Simmer down, big man. She's just a cat. Haven't seen one in a good long while. Cats? Is that different from a regular cat somehow? <laughs> it's complicated. Cats are a mysterious bunch. <laughs> just think of them as a special kind of Moloch. Sort of. That works for me. I understand that they're hard to understand, at least. 
Hey, I don't suppose you happen to be carrying any cat spirits on you? They look like this. That's just like what I found at Titania. Perfect. You could say they're kind of like our souls to us. Cat spirits, huh? Sometimes we call them kitten caboodles, too. That's just foolish. Really? Then how about kitty clumps? Mm. Anyway, one night we were having a feast so meowvelous, our souls flew right out of our bodies. That's why I need your help to find the cat spirits and use them to emeousipate my friends. Emeousipate? Really? It means to use cat spirits to free cats who are locked away in cats' boxes like these here. Meow. Here you'd say apesipate. This one would be edoxipate. And finally... Phew! I'm free, Meow! See? Emeousipate! By that logic, shouldn't it be ecatsipate? Wow, you're way more clever than you look! For real! I guess I totally underestimated you! Please! Our cat spirits got scattered fur and wide, and so many sad cats are trapped without them! Seek out the cat spirits and rescue our poor clost brothers and sisters, Meow! And why should I? Please, think of the cats! You know, cats have weird and mysterious powers. There's a good chance we might benefit by having them in our debt. We'll make it worth your while, I promise! And, if we snub them, they might put a curse on us. That has been known to happen. Ew. <laughs> If we're doing all this traveling anyway, why not help them on the side? Just remember that it's on the side. Ooh, way too many puns. Magic floating hat.
exorcists. Well, that's just inconsiderate. Word of the prison break couldn't have traveled so quickly. I somehow doubt they'll just let us in looking the way we do. I... I... apologize... about earlier. I didn't mean to steal this. The compass. You okay with this? He could be working for the exorcists. I'm following him. Mmm. Is he your dessert? If necessary. You must have gone this way. There's a ladder. A storehouse? <laughs> that smell! Flamestone! Flamestone? Also known as Melchionite, a rare mineral only found in Northgand. Mix it with sulfur and you get explosives! Mix it with oil and you get fuel! Sounds dangerous, if it's true. Believe me or not, it's your call. Looks like the boy got away. Well, we're in the city now. Well, then let's scout for the Maritime Guild. Whoever's in charge of all these storehouses must have their hands in the shipping trade and shipbuilding. And we could use a true sailor, if we can find one. Now that's a plan I endorse! We dodged the sea's murderous grasp this time, but who's to say our luck will hold? We should look for some weapons, too, if I'm to be any use in a fight. You're still wearing one. Nope, not an option. Like, there's a bunch of weapons in that storeroom we just left. Saying. experience when they give you a fire ring you might be about to get hit by fire oh, only four percent it's kind of weak also boost magic and magic defense who protect the whole world from demons. You can't just protect your parents. You've got to protect everyone. Oh, that sounds really hard. <laughs> it is. And it's precisely because the exorcists are working so hard that we look up to them. Yeah, exorcists are the best. 
They're treated like heroes. I suppose to normal people, they are. Shimmer. Walk in the plank. Come to pray. There's a group of sailors. Is that the guild? 
Oh, hey, that weapon shop looks promising. Good luck with the shipwright search. Boys. Poor creatures just can't be separated from their favorite toys, can they? It's true. Shut up, witch. Go buy a wand. Is this a shipping guild? Damn that dial! What does he think he's doing by trying to resist? We wouldn't be in this mess if he were dead. Excuse me. I need a ship repaired. Sorry, but we can't help. What makes you say that? Guild business is currently suspended. By the order of Exorcist Teresa of the Abbey. Oh, Teresa. Are you Teresa? Oh, Teresa? Well, then fuck you. Number two, did I give you permission to speak? Uh. Lady Teresa, the order of how long must this punishment of ours last? You know it was all Dial's fault, don't you, my lady? I know Dial was the one smuggling Flamestone, but your guild, through its negligence, shares responsibility. This rule was set down by the Abbey to maintain order. Do you disagree with it? No, my lady. We will capture, interrogate, and sentence Dial. When this has been accomplished, you will be free to continue business. And you, girl. Aren't you cold dressed like that? I've just arrived from the south. I wasn't aware Northgand was so cold. Hutch! A young woman ought to keep herself warm. Thank you for your concern. My, my! So this is how the Abbey flexes its muscle, hmm? Cruel, cruel world these days. I see how things stand. If I catch this style person, you can repair my ship, right? Sure, but I warn you. He's a demon. He escaped after killing a bunch of soldiers who tried to capture him. Can't be done without an exorcist. But my kind He's of from people. a small village outside the city. If you're doing this, I'd imagine that's a good place to start searching. He's a brute with the head of a lizard. I'd prepare for bloodshed. Hey! Anything could happen. It's best to keep our options open. While you wait, find us a good navigator. I wonder what darling Roker... Come up before I check out the shops. Found a real good one. The blade was badly rusted, but once I polished it up, it turned out to have a fine edge. I can scarcely believe something of that quality was languishing in my bargain bin. You've taught me quite a lesson. The weapon is yours as payment. My thanks. So you'll help us out? Of course. How did your errand fare? I see. So we're hunting a reptilian demon called Dial, are we? We'll check out his hometown first. Have fun, you kids! You aren't coming along? I'm afraid I've got bigger fish to fry at the moment. That little matter of tracking down my betrayer. Besides, if I stick around, I'm not so sure I wouldn't wind up as someone's midnight snack. My palate has standards. High standards. Not from what I've seen. reason to skedaddle!
You don't have to worry about getting attacked by demons while you're here in Helavis. This town is under the protection of the Abbey Praetor, Lady Teresa Linares. She keeps us all safe. Wow. She must really be something else. She is. She's lauded as the Frozen Queen of the Exorcists. She's as cool as ice and as pure and dazzling as freshly fallen snow. She's just the White Knight Helavis needs. Our town is as beautiful and pristine as it is because we have Lady Teresa here with us. Anyone who disturbs her order, whether human or demon, will be frozen by her wrath, soul and all. Sounds just like an exorcist. The way she glares at the filthy. Oh, if only she would look at me like that, with those ice-cold eyes. Teresa, my love. If she lets idiots like him run around loose, then I'm sure she's not as infallible as he thinks she is. Exclamation point over his head makes it seem like there's a trigger. That's right. These games tend to have little cutscenes when you go to the end. That was a good session, if I do say so myself. Tomorrow's drill will be even faster. I thought he was being a crazy demon again, but come to think of it. This is just him being him. Paid a hundred for that cutscene. Oh, got a new outfit. No hat for you.
Couldn't let that coin go. Very important. Look, a yak. Hey, Velvet, here's a fun fact. Yak tail hair is considered to be among the highest quality materials for a helmet's plume. Wow, really? Also, I don't care. At my house, we had this helmet. It was an incredible piece, covered with yak tail hair. The talk of the town. House Rangetsu has two treasures going for it, people would say. The Helm of Yak and Storm Howl. They must not have thought very highly of the rest of you. Hmm? Why do you say that? Although, I guess I can think of a reason or two. Oh well, it's nothing a demon like me has to worry about. Oh, not you. The thing next to you. Breakdown equipment. That's a thing. So don't go selling shit. Did you hear? That navigator for the shipping guild, Dial. He turned into a demon. He supposedly killed and ate his crewmates, then ran off. Demon blight? In Hell of Ease? What do we do? No need to worry. Lady Teresa is already dealing with it. She'll hunt down that Dial character in no time. They say that once you change, you can never turn back into a human. Is killing him our only option? Killing him would be a mercy. Demons are just monsters who've lost their humanity. Yeah, you're right. Things like that aren't human anymore. Not human, huh? Get this straight, Alpha Area. You want to form an alliance with my Gamma Area to bring down the Betas? Correct. It's the classic strategy. Ally with a distant state and strike a neighboring one. What is this? A council of war? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Is that it? Indeed. If your Alpha Forces and my Gamma Forces work together, Beta Area is done for. <laughs> I like it. You've got yourself an alliance, Alpha Area. Excellent! We shall be victorious in this year's Hell of Ease Grand Snowball Fight! Let us toast to our victory! This isn't a snowball fight, it's a snowball war. <laughs> Fools! I was the one who engineered their alliance! Once they eliminate Beta Area, the Alpha and Gamma forces will launch a full-scale assault to destroy the other. Exhausted, the victor won't be prepared when my Delta Army sweeps down upon them! They have sealed their own doom. These kids really fight dirty. All's fair in snow and war. Ooh, this cold is beyond ordinary. 
Well, Halavis is a northern country, but still, it wasn't this cold when I was a kid. The cold snow and ice were never this bad. I know it for a fact. It's that, what do they call it again? Global uh, warming. Global cooling? Yeah, that's the one. The Abbey says the world's getting colder. Thanks to all this cold, I need more warm clothing. Worse, I have to shovel snow and chop firewood all day. Ugh. Who's responsible for this global cooling? Let me at him. Oh, oh, don't look at me. It's not my fault. All right, break time. Mainly because I gotta poop. And I'll leave it in the menu so I can get more free shit. Yay.